Patrick, how are you? It's lovely that you've actually decided to come over for the season finale of the UK. And uh, <laughs> it's it's just, you're here to pay your respects to the UK economy, is that it? That That is it. There's yes. Q, there's Q jumper passes apparently you can get for that, oh, but they, they, that, get, they get only, you in a lot of trouble. big celebs like you would be getting those Q jumper passes now, Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> you, you've kind of gone viral again this week, actually, haven't you? Last week. The, By the, doing the absolutely nothing. Yes, well, you did, you did something a couple of years ago. I mean, it's good to see you getting uh, resuscitated, isn't it? <sighs> I don't know. It's... It's, um, you know, I did a speech for Shared Ireland, uh, for Shared Island, mm. um, which was last November, December. Mm. Um, and I kind of thought that was the end of that. And, you know, there was a reaction to it and all of these things about sharing a space and sharing the island. And then, um, I don't know, I think, did, did somebody sing a song somewhere or something? Oh, I something don't know. like that. Something like that, yeah. Love tones. Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, like, it's... Uh, it's very weird that whole sort of up the ra thing. I mean, even the ra aren't singing up the ra these days. <laughs> it's very, it, like, it's a very weird thing. Like even yeah. the, even the ra kind of going, you know, up the social housing. <laughs> Let, let's let's not talk about the ra. So it's it it's a. I think it's in a weird way. It's timely. You know, I think that it shows you sort of the complexities of mm. of the island and and of Ireland. I mean, you know, the idea that you have, you know, five thousand people getting together, you know, uh, for a for a you know shared Ireland forum just a couple of weeks ago, and then you know you've got this sort of taking people's attention. Um, I think it's um, if if people have to ask themselves questions, you know, because of this, I think it's a good thing. It's something that we've had to do up yeah. north for years. So you think like the the fallout from it, if we'll describe it that way, maybe that's the wrong word as well to describe it because that's, you know, fallout's really a positive thing. Mm. Uh, but uh, the fallout is, is good. It could be cathartic that we kind of air these things because you do touch on that in, in that speech you gave. You talked about having to re-examine look, the past. Look, uh, you know, I, I think it sort of falls very much into, you know, the the idea of sort of three green fields. You know, it's much easier to actually, you know, sing the rebel song about the United Ireland than kind of not to in order to have it. Um, and and yet, you know, the, the, there's no point being pearl clutchy about any of this. Mm. You know, like people are who they are and believe what they believe. And, you know, people kind of, I don't know. It, it it it's weird the 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 what aboutery, I think, which has come out of it. You know, which is a well, what about this and what about that. I just feel that anybody can sing whatever they want, and that is you know orange men and and football supporters and and football teams. Mm. Um, but ultimately, if anyone is remotely interested. In a United Ireland, if you look at the census results in the north, there's a huge chunk of people there in the middle which call themselves Northern Irish. And if you're sitting in Dublin and somebody said, you know what, lads, I think it's probably time for you to sit and sort of think about rejoining Britain and the Commonwealth. And you had a Northern Ireland team in a dressing room singing the sash. You'd probably go to yourself, kind of, do I really want to be part of that yeah um so so i i i think um it's it's a conversation that that kind of needs to be had and i think it's it's come at a at a timely point